Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Today, what I got for you is going to be a birthday t-shirt. This is what it's going to look like. But I'm going to start it from the beginning, from the rooter to the tutor, from the beginning to the end. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to just jump right into it. Open up your Photoshop. This is what you do. Um... <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. Let's see what kind of fonts we got. This just make it easier. All right, so basically what you do here, this is the quick way. Uh, she wants birthday behavior. Apparently it's her birthday. Uh, 1300 by 1300 pixels. This is what I always use. Make sure it's 300 resolution. Bam. All right, we're going to type in birthday. Uh, B-I-R-T-H. Oh, this is in all caps. All right, so we're going to do B-I-R-T-H-D-A-Y. All right. And then what is this? Uh, let's see here. This font is October Twilight. And all of the fonts you can get on thefont.com. So we're going to go to October. Uh. Oh, so, okay. It's messing up a little bit. All right. So you can get all. There it goes, right? I don't know why this, it messed up like that. But you can um, get all these fonts on www.thefont.com. If you need a tutorial on how to actually... Um, you know um basically download the fonts then i can put a put a little tutorial about that might a little issue here all right there we go so birthday look all right cool so you see it automatically creates a new layer if we click this little eye here it has the layer all right so and then the next font is going to be behavior all right so i'm going to do all font for this one all cap locks for that turn that on B E H A V I O R. You see how that looks so funky? Um, let's see here. Which font is this? What font is this? That's chalkboard SE. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that font. Um, chalkboard. There we go. There we go. So there we go. Um, all right. So what, I'm going to click back onto this layer. Click on it. Boop. You see how it switched? Um, we're going to resize it basically always hold a shift key so that it doesn't lose proportion all right <clears throat> oh, there we go and then we just want to slide this up there we go and this is how exactly how she wanted she sent me a picture exactly how she wanted it um it's birthday behavior so what i'm going to do now i'm going to save file save as and then we're going to put birthday 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 t h d a y birthday t but but then we're going to go down we're going to click on format jpeg that way it's, it makes it nice and easy all right simple like popping a pimple here we go close minimize that boom see i'm making some um my homeboy said he needed a, a, a shirt to match his um shirt to match his um shorts to get fly so basically, um, I had to hook him up with a little tea. All right, so we're going to file, open, no, 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 no. We're going to go here. That's going to auto trace the image since we already got it as a JPEG. It's, I always save mine as black and white. I don't make no any other color. Uh, birthday tea. There we go. All right, there we go. Cool, birthday behavior. All right, now, if I wanted to make it two color, just follow along, y'all. Follow along, it's real simple. You see, it's nice and black. Um, she's, wearing, she's wearing a 2X, so I'm going to make this shirt size maybe, I usually do like the bigger shirts, like 12 and a half, 13 or something like that. Boom, right there. So, uh, so that it's not so small going across. All right, so we're going to flip it. Flip it and reverse it, so when it cuts out, it's going to, you know, um, automatically um go right side up all right we're going to slide this all the way to the end and since i'm using the cheap this cheap uh vinyl from um it's not cheap it's actually pretty good but it's like the chinese vinyl um for your cricket users because apparently you know what i'm saying this is like 12 inches wide 12 inches wide so i told you my joint is going to be like like a little bit over 12 inches so i'm doing it the long way so i got to turn it sideways turn it this way long ways instead of my usual way that I could put it if I use I mean if I'm using my regular sign my regular t-shirt vinyl 
um, because this is going to cut it the long way and this is going to cut it the short way all right all right let me get my baby get my baby out of the way all right there we go all right so long story short i am going to click the cut now i want to make this pink this top one pink and the bottom white so what i'm going to do you know for lack of better lack of better timing you can just you know what i'm saying um if you want to do it this way you can go to object break apart and then just delete that you know what i'm saying but what i'm going to do i'm just going to click cut oh you know what i'm, I'm gonna delete it i'm gonna show you all how to do it do it this way that way i have the birthday in pink i had a birthday in pink so i'm gonna click cut just want to send to the cutter make sure my joint is make sure my joint is uh <clears throat> straight because i use um for the thick for the thick vinyl i use like 280 so i'm going to go to up to 280. all right hold on oh, wrong button all right so speed 300 i got my speed at 300 on a thick vinyl i'm gonna cut this on a 280 and it's all you just really gotta play with it um don't feel afraid to play with the joint all right so it's at 280 now i'm going to send it to the cutter and when i come back i'm going to show you basically how to get this white going but it's, it's very very simple y'all it's very simple so now it's going to be cutting there we go so now it's cutting so long story short what we're going to do once it finished cutting um once it finished cutting i'm just going to hit like undo you know i think that's control z uh, basically to go back with control z and then it's going to have uh, behavior at the bottom right so we're just going to delete the birthday that's all we're doing and then we're going to load the white vinyl <clears throat> we're going to load the white vinyl in there we're going to load the white vinyl in there and then do the same thing just click cut all right and i'll be back all right so now we're back to the whole uh sure cuts a lot this is awesome software nice and easy so like I said, you hit com com Command or Z or Control Z, it brings it right back on up. You can um, you can just slide this out of the way, but what I find easy, you can just group it. Uh, let's see, object, group it again. Make sure you don't, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, group it. Oh man, it's stolen. All right, probably gotta do it like this. So drag a little box around it and then go to object, group. Anyway, yeah, make sure you don't um <clears throat> resize that. Just don't resize it. So now we're just gonna delete this. Bloop. Okay, let's delete it. Alright. It's not supposed to be looking like this, but uh it is what it is. It's working, forget it. Alright, hold the shift key so that it remains proportionate. I'm going to cut mine sideways because it take up less space. And I'm going to click cut. Cut, 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 cut. All right. We're going to cut it. And this is how the other one turned out. This is how the other one turned out. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Weed it out nice and good. So now what I'm going to do, I want to send my cust my client, my client, a mock-up of how it looks like on a shirt because I don't feel like doing it in Photoshop. I'm just going to cut everything out because uh, she sent me the picture of how she wanted it. So I'm pretty sure she's going to love it. Hold on, let me get this thing off. All right, there we go. It's off. All right, so this is going to go here. Birthday. This is going to look something like that. Always four fingers down. I see that's like hold on see that's not four fingers so we got to bring it up or let's do this let's do this matter of fact we're gonna fold it in half fold it in half doop, 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 so we can get a nice little center line all right all right this looks like it's about four and a half fingers down let's see yep four fingers down so that's where the birthday is going to be all right, so now we're back to the video, and um, as you see, my stuff is all weeded out. I'm about to load the white vinyl in there so I can cut out the behavior. This is a little trick. Be careful with this, though. 
Um, but sometimes the vinyl is kind of thick. What I do, I just give it a, like a little pre-press. Uh, there's no reason why the Teflon sheet is at the bottom. You can just clearly do this without the Teflon sheet at the bottom, but I just got a Teflon sheet right there. You can weed your stuff up, you know what I'm saying? Just, it'll be a little easier if you put a little heat to it. Uh, if you don't want to buy like one of those little heating pads or whatnot, and it comes up a little easier, okay? We're back, and we're back. So it's going to look, you know, something like this. So I'm going to just send her a little jump. I'll send her a little mock-up or something like that on a shirt. Birthday behavior is kind of crooked, but you know what I'm saying? It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. And then the only thing we got to do next is shoot it off to the uh oh it's junky over here <laughs> but we just got to shoot it off to the heat press press it on down um i think i charged like 25 dollars or something like this all right so the shirt is now complete this is how it look i got my little setup my little setup here my little little, little, little shut up here um the client loved the shirt the gildan i think this is a um yeah this is a heavy card 100 cotton gel but yeah like comment subscribe y'all